Okay, Aries, Aries, February 2023. This is your reading. I'm going to use Paradexian Tree, which is your Oracle card. I already did a full version reading, three minutes on my page, but I'm going to do the short reading. I'm going to read the short version for this tarot reading. The song you got was Like I Love You by Justin Timberlake. And the quote you got was, little and often fills the purse. So I don't know if this has to do with saving. Little and often fills the purse. Um, the Paradoxian Tree. Risk, hitting danger, enemies, slyness, Necessary prudence, shrewdness, and isolation. The card of the Paradoxian Tree advises us to consider the situation very carefully, approaching it with great caution. The question is in regards to work, we need to pay close attention to the people around us, as there may be a snake among them. A person who is trying to lure us down a dangerous path with false promises. The person in question probably appears to be affable, cheerful, perhaps prone to flattery, but this person has ulterior motives. To defend ourselves from this sort of person, we need to take a lesson from the dove in the story of the Paradexian. We must be reserved and proceed with caution, trusting only people we know to be honest and true. We should resist temptations to leave the path we are on to pursue active, attractive opportunities that we should resist temptations to leave the path we are on to pursue attractive opportunities they, that may in fact be false. For example, if at this particular moment in time the seeker were to be offered a job that is attractive enough to tempt them to leave their current job, they should think twice before launching into something they may later regret. The same holds true when the question concerns financial matters. This is not the time to run risks in matters of money. Your quote again, little and often fills the purse. If the question is on matters of the heart, the card advises us to be particularly mindful of our relationship and to pay close attention to the person we are interested in because there may be someone else who is trying to work against us. More generally, the card advises great caution right now, trusting very few people, not venturing out onto unfamiliar roads, and being wary of those who make promises that seem to be that seem too good to be true. The advice, if you know, <clears throat> excuse me, if you know how to surround yourself with people who are honest and true, no enemy can ever harm you. So, is this about borrowing, overspending? Somebody borrowing from you, somebody codependent on you financially, Aries, February 2023. You got the Ten of Cups, could be someone in your family. Are you are you paying for someone's life or lifestyle or I'm just trying to make sure someone's not using you. Aries, February 2023. Aries, February 2023. Aries, February 2023. You've got the Seven of Pentacles, so people are talking about whatever's going on here. You, your situation, your finances. Um, but a family dynamic could be stuck. Not moving forwards, not moving backwards. Chattering. Somebody could be speaking about your business that doesn't really pertain to them. Um, a love relationship could be stagnant. Uh, I mean, with this song, it seems... Kind of like somebody's putting on a front. That's 
click that's where I can see it. Let me read that again. Risk, hidden danger, enemies, slyness. That's what I'm getting, slyness. Necessary prudence, shrewdness, and isolation. Okay, uh, and one more. Aries, February 2023. Somebody could be talking about somebody's lifestyle being funded. We've got It's Impossible. Maybe somebody's wondering how somebody else affords their lifestyle, gets money, where they work. Some, um, psychic, supernatural, power, superhero, logic, fake footage, levitation, telepathy, wizardry, poltergeist, SFX, natural laws, credible witness, magic trick, miracle, demonic possession. Um, it's impossible. I'm going to read a little bit of the Ten of Cups from this book. In the Ten of Cups, a family sits before their home. This could be about something to do with the house, a foundation, like a boiler, um, basement, gas. A family, a family sits before their home. The well-dressed father holds a large feather, which the wife delic delicately strokes. Unaware of any sexual implications of this gesture, two children happily play with a doll next to the couple. Behind them is an ocean from which a large mesa protrudes. On this rests a gigantic ladder that extends into the clouds above the mesa. At the end of the ladder is a rainbow that contains the ten chalices. The ladder leads to the gates of heaven that is psychic consciousness. And this is evident in the biblical description of the ladder of Jacob's vision, Genesis 28, 10, 19. And he dreamed, and behold, there was a ladder set up on the earth, and the top of it reached to heaven, and behold, the angels of God were ascending and descending on it. For the traveler, the Ten of Cups brings messages of balance and ascent. Old ideas like the nuclear family must be reevaluated to see if they are still functional. All precepts have an element of ambiguity. They are never black or white, good or bad. Typically, they vacillate in the middle. Inspection of these precepts through the use of the rungs of the cosmic ladder will tell the traveler of their value, if they should be accepted, if they should be rejected or in the all-chemical tradition, transmuted into the next stage of psychic development, which would be the Page of Cups coming up next. So, something about home, a house, talking, stock. Uh, maybe this is getting construction work done. Let me get a deck. What's going on here? Eight of Cups. So walking away from something, walking away from a project, walking away from some kind of family situation, maybe going on vacation, maybe, what does this say? What would the book about your life be called? Maybe taking a journey to write a book. Maybe somebody doesn't know that you're an author. Ten of Cups, Eight of Cups, maybe it's somebody's wish to walk away from this. Ten of Cups, Eight of Cups. 
hates to chatter about. King of Cups. Is a hot dog sandwich, is a hot dog a sandwich? Why or not? King of Cups. Somebody could be talking about somebody being, um, somebody's infidelities. Somebody could have left a family dynamic and is now being talked about. Risk, danger. Uh, what's, it's impossible. What's, it's impossible. Six of Wands. So whatever it is can be done. What in your life brings you the most joy? Defeat and obstacles. Um, be careful taking risks again. What did that say? Risk, hidden danger, enemies, slyness, necessary prudence, shrewdness, and isolation. Be careful taking risks. Be careful of overspending. Be careful of... Somebody that might want to keep you stuck. Be careful of somebody who is trying to charm you. Charm your clothes off, possibly. All right, let me get a guidance card for Aries. Where's that deck? Guidance card for Aries. Baboon. Be careful of online accounts. Be careful of catfishers. Be careful of neighbors. Be careful of people listening out for passwords and such. Be careful of your mail, your mailbox. Your packages that are being delivered. Baboon. Adapt, accommodate, flexible. Um, be careful of adapting to somebody else's version of what this is. Let me get you one more card. What's this about for Aries? Psyche, be careful of someone trying to mess with your thoughts, your mind, your nerves. Personal truth, core essence, integration. Um... And this might be mixing of families or something like that. Okay, good luck, Aries.